Hi, it's me again, IFBB Pro Michelle Johnson, Team Beauty Fit Athlete and Coach for Team Knockouts. Hope you're not bored with me yet. <laughs> I used to do this when I was a kid, just put a camera in front of me and talk to it for hours. My grandpa would set that up and I'd come visit and it would be video time. So I happen to uh, feel very comfortable doing this. <laughs> and it is kind of awkward to be honest, but I have so much to share, I don't want to do it all in one video, so I'm breaking up these little candid conversations into a few, and there's just so many I could make for you, but today I just want to go into another topic, and first of all, that's that I got this new amazing door on my office, I cannot believe I came home with a French door in my office, I have some privacy and I love it, so I can be here all day playing, and look who's over there, listen to that, snoring away. How cute is that? Okay, so what I was going to cover right now is, well, I just wanted to say to you one thing. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> That's what the topic's about, memory. How many of us, when we're dieting or low in carbs, feel like we're losing our mind and that we're possibly getting a case of Alzheimer's. <laughs> Many of us, right? Well, I think the reason that that's happening, and it's more common, and I've had people even say to me, um, random people, I can't remember anything anymore. I feel like I'm losing my mind. And it's because of stress. I don't think people realize how important stress management is for your cortisol levels. If you do not manage your stress, you will have a very tough time losing body fat very tough time growing muscle, and a quote weight loss. So when people come to me and they say, I need to get in shape, one of the things I have to evaluate is how much stress they're under and how anxious they are. So I do listen to their voice. I listen to their, can you keep it down, Lily? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but I just, I, I just can't disturb her. She's so cute. Um, but one of the things that I really look for is that people um, – know how to handle and cope with stress. So a lot of times I have to get into areas of coaching, dealing with people's personalities. And a lot of my clients say to me, I don't know how the hell you deal with these people, these women. I mean, just being at shows with them, they can see the quirks of some of their co-competitors. Um, and even not co-competitors, but people on other teams and, and what us coaches have to go through with the personalities alone. Um, and stress is a cause of a lot of things. You know, some people can cope with stress very well and other people can't. I'm not saying I'm a master of stress by any means. That's why I started taking yoga, doing meditation. I take multiple vitamins, no medications, but multiple vitamins to help me manage my stress levels. Um, I've had enormous stress in my life that has caused me chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia flare-ups, um, almost crippling pain in my body. So I take stress very seriously and I see how people are really burning the candle on both ends. And so to be burning the candle on both ends and then try to go on an organized meal plan and exercise plan is like a double-edged sword. So it, you want to make sure that you are prepared to take solutions um, that can help you better your lifestyle. And it's hard when you're in a place of chaos to think, wow, there's actually a solution to this. You're not thinking in terms of solutions. You're going, my world is out of control. I'm overwhelmed and there's nothing I can do about it. And it's just not true. What you have to do is really calm down. And um, what is the, the acronym? STFU? <laughs> Because you need to be able to look at it objectively and decide, how can I manage my time differently? You get yourself into the chaotic mess. There, and, and not everything in your life is out of your control. There's lots of things you can control. And, and if you don't have your kids in control, that's a good place to start, is learning how to parent your children so that you do have your time, that you're the parent, the disciplinarian, and the person um, that is in charge of your kids. They're not in charge of you. Also, with your work life, you know, you have to keep in mind that if you're working excessively all the time, something is wrong. My grandmother always told me um, the person that's working overtime obviously can't get their job done and it's not sending your boss the right messages. So I started really thinking, oh, she doesn't know what she's talking about. But over time, I really learned to appreciate that. So learning to work less time and smarter is a real mastery of your work life. So over time, you want to develop the skill of, I'm going to work less, 
and I'm going to work hard during that time, but I'm going to give myself more free time. And you have to create free time. It has to be scheduled until you get in a rhythm and change the habit of never having any free time, staying busy all the time. Um, sometimes that can be a symptom of you not wanting to confront things in your life or look at things um, um, with a new perspective and actually being able to see that there are solutions to your schedule. So I believe in keeping a schedule. I keep mine right on my computer and I do set up time with my friends. I set up time with my family. I have to write everything on that schedule or there will be no time. So effective time management is a great de-stressing tool. Also making sure that you get vitamins and nutrients to support your body because if you don't have the nutrients you're going to feel extra tired. You're going to then get extra stressed and overwhelmed a lot easier. If you're doing physical things all the time and personal trainers, massage therapists get burnt out a lot because they're just physically doing too much and then trying to work out and exercise and diet and this and this and that on top of all of that and if they have kids God forbid they're going to blow up. Um, so you can't do everything. You have to learn how to delegate. You have to learn how to direct without having to do, do, do. Sometimes there's a lot to say for when there's times to just be. If you don't create times for thawing out, escaping, unwinding, and relaxing, you may blow up. So you want to lose weight. You want to get in shape. When a coach tells you you need to manage stress differently, you need to take it seriously or you're wasting your time even attempting a program. And you may never find time for that program because the person who's busy and under a lot of stress never has time. There's no time, 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 time. That's all you hear about is their time. I relate to it. I'm a very busy person. I would not accomplish as much as I do had I not learned the art of creating a schedule that works for me that permits me to eat we're humans we have to eat and permits me to work out I need energy and workouts create that energy and muscles create that energy as well and good posture and all the things that fight gravity so my suggestion to you is stop complaining be more solution oriented and if you don't know how to be you can always contact me at michelle at michellefitness.com get on a program and I will teach you how to organize your time effectively, but don't argue with me because I'm the coach. Thanks for watching.